Hey there guys, no one here with my first ever voiceover on a game playing Call of Duty World at War uh, Zombies This is a custom map I made called Chemical Plant Elite which is uh, actually an updated version of the original Chemical Plant which not as many people have played. Uh, took me about a month to make the original map, and about another two weeks to update it to this elite version. Basically, it's a lot harder. There's more scenery, there's more features, uh, there's a lot more zombies per round. And a lot more fun, I think. Although, solo, uh, it's not going to be that hard. But when you get uh, three or four people in here, it's a really fun map. Blood here. So, Chemical Plant is a ten-story building with a box on top. Most people I've, I've watched tend to go straight for the roof, which I guess is okay because you want to get the box. But for me, I like to go to uh, level five first, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, three, five, and seven have perk machines along with a basement sublevel on, on here. And I like to go to 5 because you have a chance of getting a perk and uh, there's an MP40 there which is a pretty good gun, uh, medium gun to get following this gear I'm getting here first. Explosion has cut the radio on there. By the way, that's the radio from the original game. <laughs> okay. You can knife it or hit it to change the song and cycle through about 10 songs of thing before it actually turns off. Oh, yeah. Show you this thing, too. Little Easter egg. Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Just keep hitting F. Time to get out of here. I'm gonna go straight to level five. The even number levels have nothing but uh, guns on the walls, and uh, there are extra spawn locations for the box when it moves. So we're gonna go five first. Just to bring out the way, get a perk. Oh, perfect, Juggernaut. Random perks because it's the Shionuma type map. Stink. And there is an MP40 down there. Along with another Easter egg on the phone, which I'll show you when I get some crawlers here. Ah, missed them all. These barrels are like this on purpose to make it hard, so if you try to camp here at the zombies, you're just gonna zigzag all over the place. discover that and then they just like they're like what the hell they're like laughing so hard what that is is a sound from Family Guy 
uh, one of the one of the episodes called No Chris Left Behind, I think it was, where he goes to some like upscale rich community college or something and there's that bottom tooth guy with the huge teeth yeah, and uh, right. some guy who every time he talks he like draws out his last word. He's like, yes, oh, uh, like that. And that's one scene where they walk away from Chris and he does that. He laughs and then he makes that sound and it's, it's just that but it's slowed down and kind of distorted and changed to make it sound like it's supposed to be a zombie on the other side of the phone. So that's what that comes from, Family Guy. One of my favorite TV shows. These doors you can open from the other side to get to the inner other stairwell. They only cost 500 from the inside. Uh, there's really no reason to open them unless you want to camp in the stairwell. But I think it makes it harder because then you got two ways for zombies to come in. And I'm actually gonna go retreat to the roof here. Oh, hang on. See how they're all zig and zagging everywhere. Let's just make it diff difficult to camp in that room. Because I'm not a fan of camping, it just makes the game boring. Go ahead and I'll head up to the uh, roof now. That's the way I usually do it five and then roof. Most people go for roof first. Can you get some beddies here? I like to put them right here because uh, something that a lot of people don't realize is the zombies will actually climb along the sides of the building. And if you camp on up here, then they will get you from all sides. So it's only a good idea to retreat up here, but not start the round up here. Because then you'll have to retreat down somewhere and get stuck in a stairwell and you're going to die. So. Uh, we got Scorching Molotovs here, which is just a stronger version of regular Molotovs. I just call them Scorching. You got Mortar Rounds here for 250. I would not recommend buying them if you're playing by yourself because uh, the explosion radius is so huge you probably kill yourself unless you throw it like halfway across the map. But it's just a, f a fun weapon to have. You got this cheap P38 for 50 here. Beautiful, baby! Uh -oh. Yeah, there come the ones off the roof now. Coming up the roof. They only come from this back side, back part of the building, though they won't come from the front side. Since that's where you start. I need to get me a better gun here soon. Oh yeah, by the way, the box is, uh, well, it's just awful. It's time to kick some freak bag ass. The box is 2,000 for a weapon or upgraded weapon, because there's no pack-a-punch in this game. Uh, so, there's both types in here, regular and upgraded. So it's just a gambling thing. This gun is awful, but it's fine for the early round, so. I'm actually going to open up 9 next, because there is a P38 
PPSH on the wall for 4,000. And I'll get that next round. I got some money inside here. Along with a Panzer Shrek, which is I renamed to Panzer Shark. And there's actually, it fires an actual shark, which is pretty funny. Something I found in the game files that apparently they just had in there and they never used. But see what I'm doing there? I'm starting in the round so they all spawn in here. And then I'm going to retreat to the roof. And that makes the rounds go by a lot easier. sound coming up the building. They're stealthy ninja zombies. Ah, there they come. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip the box for now and buy the PPSH for 4,000 next time. Because I need to get some better guns here. This is just terrible, DP-28. It's almost as bad as a sniper. Double points. Hell yeah. Unless you get the upgraded sniper and it's not so bad. The penetrator. These bouncing Bettys will kill a lot of zombies too. Put them right here. I'm here to kick so that's got like a thousand points for that. It's insane. Well, of course, it's double points too, but huge points. Already got it to get my PPSH. In one of the higher rounds, I'll use this flogger. It's pretty hilarious when you see all the zombies uh, get hurled off the building. this. Oh, this is gonna turn him into red mist. You can buy this. Uh, it doesn't say anything, but if you hit the use key on it, it, you will buy it, and it doesn't cost anything. It's a zero. So you can get that for free, just something to play around with. That's why I didn't charge you for it. It's just uh, something to have fun with. It's not really a, that useful of a gun. I mean, it does have a pretty good damage rate, but it's so huge and bulky and it's not something you want to keep with you all the time. Plus it slows you down so much. And it's quiet again. Yep. Hey there. It's like climbing a little bit past the building, but oh well. I feel like it's gonna rain or something. I wish I had, had rain in here. Oops, getting level 9 here. Round starts. That's basically what I do all the time. Uh, start on 9, move to the roof, or start on like one or two, and then go to the basement. That's it. 
except for the scaling zombies. But a good strategy also, um, once you get to the higher levels, is to pick up the flamethrower or the wonder waffle. The flamethrower is, uh, contrary to what a lot of people think, is uh, not. Uh, which you want, how do you how do I want to put it? It, it? It's not affected by the increased health of the zombies as you go up on higher rounds. So they tend to burn at the same rate no matter what level you're on. Plus there's, it doesn't need any ammo, so... Really handy to have the flamethrower too. It just, you have, just takes a while before they burn down and die, so... It's not the greatest. The Wonder Waffle is probably uh, the best thing to have. Wonder Waffle with a point builder gun like like this one, then uh, you can just shoot them all and instantly kill them. Also, no matter what what round you're on with the Wonder Waffle, makes it a little too easy, I think. But yeah. uh, what I'm doing here works pretty good for solo. I don't think it works quite as good. Uh, with three or four people though, because there's so many more zombies. It may work fine, but of course they're going to be spawning in different parts of the map too with more people. So, I'll probably... I'll try it. Uh, I'll try to make another another map after this one. With, uh, like three or four people maybe. Wow, that was quick. Get some more ammo here. 2,000. Let me just try to fly through these rounds now, because I've been talking a lot, and it's taking a little while, so let's get some action going here. Keep doing this, repeating the same routine here. Let's try the flogger. Let's see that in action. This is gonna jack those freak bags up. We. That's hilarious. See them all go flying off the side of the building. And yes, this cannot kill me. So you can run through that. Don't worry about dying. Now I'm gonna try doing the other, doing it the other way, uh, starting on like uh, like round two. Actually, let me, get, let me get my other perks first. Get my speed colon double tap. Yeah. Nova. I think it's three I didn't open. Yep. That's my flogger being ready again. There it is, but I can't afford it now. So I'm on three now. I'll probably start here and retreat down to the basement since it would take me too long to get upstairs to the roof. Alright, there's a static on that radio right there too. It's another easter egg. If you hit it, it's like a crazy Richtofen Richtofen, whatever. Well, like screaming like he's insane. The bouncing Betty's kills so many. You don't fuck with a Marine. I heard a perk pop too. Oh well. I mean a uh, power up. Oh crap, I did not open that yet. I don't believe it. I thought I'd opened that already. Good thing I get made it back up though. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so, uh, let's go back to the roof. Oh my god, I hope I can make it up there. I'm still gonna get trapped in the stairwell. Eight. That's exactly what I mean right there. You want to get out of this stairwell when the, when the round starts. It's just a death trap. open the bottom it's this door right here a lot of uh, this button here a lot of people don't notice it until they walk around here and see oh question mark but see you can hear the perk machine going off I love me. that would be quick revive so we go around and get my double tap on three and then come back here oops Zombies, it's not too bad camping in here, but uh, I wouldn't want to stand here when the round starts because you're just going to get stuck in here. place of retreat to just like the roof but not to start in so anyway I just need to show you this room since we're here you got the trap as you saw try and get a crawler here Some more scorching Molotovs here. Uh, sound effects from the game System Shock 2, one of my all-time favorite games. This beeping and humming sound here and machinery sound are both from System Shock 2. Got a Magnum you can buy. Some more Molotovs, or mortar rounds right there. And right here, along with some exploding ammo on the bottom, that will blow up and shoot it, you can buy a max ammo power-up. Oh yeah, here's the countdown for the trap. I love this. Oh yeah, this song I heard on PBS. 
I swear, it was on a cooking show. I'm like, what the heck? Without the singing, of course. Yeah, that, that song I heard on PBS is like, it must be some general purpose uh, song they found on the internet somewhere, and they just dubbed in their own voiceover, and someone's singing it. So anyway, um, the max ammo power-up, good for later rounds here to uh, refill your ammo when you're not getting, you know, your drops. Um... As before, here is another Family Guy uh, Easter egg. When I saw the record player, I just had to put that in. Wait, and that exact sound is also from that episode where he first. Uh, discover that song, and he's like playing it in bed, and then Lois takes the record off, uh, takes the needle off the record and makes that noise, that's what that's from. And, you can hit it again, and play the Muzak version of the Imperial March from the Star Wars episodes. When Brian's like in an elevator, it plays that Muzak version. And it'll keep playing indefinitely unless you hit use on it again, and then it'll stop on the next uh, cycle, the next loop. So I just stopped it there, otherwise it'll keep playing forever. So... Oh yeah, also... See some light coming from right here? There's a secret room! That you can only see out of, but not in. With a little spine a bearsome jug ready to kill himself. These are all murderous teddy bears here. And another sound effect from System Shock 2. It was like called Hatchery or something. It's like in the third level, I think, of the game. It's like a really scary, spooky sound. It sounds like death. Like you go in there, you're gonna die, and you see all that stuff in there. The teddy bears with knives. I love that sound effect. I love a lot of sound effects in System Shock. It's just a great game. Anyway, you can buy that fence for 5000 and then the upgraded ray gun is 15000 Definitely do not camp in there either, because you'll get trapped in a corner. So I'm going to go up to 3, yeah, and then jump back down to the basement. I prefer doing it on the roof, it's just a little bit faster uh, to start from 9 and then work my way up to the roof. It's just quicker and I seem to do better that way. But if you have four players, I guess you could have two people do it, you know, start from 9, go to the roof, and the other two uh, come down here. It's probably a good strategy, they help split up the zombies some. By the way, you can you can walk through that barrier and still survive if you have Juggernaut on. So you could even hit it if you were in here and then run out and kill them all run by running through the barrier. It slows you down a little bit, but you won't die. No. By the way, initially this was open, uh, the little acid pit there, and uh, you would take damage if you jumped into it, but it, there were some issues with the damage and the way the game handled it, and uh, I didn't feel like fixing it, so I just covered it up on this version. You could also jump off the roof, uh, but that caused problems also because you could jump to, uh, out of the range of the, the playable area of the game and it caused issues, so... 
I just took the whole thing out. So you can't jump off, you can't jump in here anymore. Oh crap. back up to the top and I just feel safer retreating to the roof instead of in here. Like, what, what, where did he even come from? video and I've been doing this a couple times now so I'm about done here so but I want to make another video of this uh, with uh, like three or four players and see how that goes it should be a lot more interesting since not everybody knows the map as well as me it makes more for a more interesting game Solo, I could go on for a long time solo, just like on Shinonuma. I mean, I've, I've got, gotten to over round 100 on Shinonuma solo. All I gotta do is just start in one area and then run to the other side uh, using the trap. And you can kill them all without even using your weapons. Multiplayer is, is what makes this fun. videos this long one this you know this length already so the general strategy is this what you've seen though start you know near the top or the bottom and then retreat there rather than starting from the top or bottom Ooh. 
upgraded FG. Yeah, I think it well. Perfect weapon for the perfect soldier. Sure, I'll take it. So I'm gonna go and play my other map, Nuclear Silo, or try and get some uh, other people to play this with me, and uh, see how that goes. So uh, we'll see you in the next video.